This area behind me is clearly on fire, but don't worry, it's not a wildfire. This area is undergoing helpful maintenance. But what exactly is being maintained? And how can fire be helpful? Let's find out together in this episode all about prescribed burns. Fire is a natural part of the pine forest and prairie landscape. It's an essential element that helps uphold the natural balance. In wild, natural areas, lightning will strike during a thunderstorm. This will spark a fire to sweep across the land, ridding the area of invasive species and unwanted undergrowth, clearing the way for new native plants and making room for animals to hunt and forage. Prescribed burns keep people and property safe while still allowing for these natural and needed ecological benefits. A prescribed burn, also known as a controlled burn, is the intentional use of fire by trained professionals under specific environmental conditions to restore health to ecosystems that depend on fire. A controlled burn is a carefully planned and executed process that prioritizes safety. This prescribed burn at the Heard Natural Science Museum and Sanctuary is being conducted by trained professionals who have assessed temperature, moisture of the vegetation, wind, humidity, and conditions for the dispersal of smoke. Burn plans call for a clear skies day to help with smoke dispersal, and the winds have to be just right. If the winds are too strong, it could blow the fire out of control. But if the winds are too weak, the fire won't disperse well enough and parts of the prairie or forest could overheat, damaging the same vegetation that we're trying to help. It sounds really tricky, which is why burn plans are created by a highly trained burn boss who has tons of experience conducting burns and putting fires out. This prescribed burn is being conducted by the local fire department because who's better at managing fire? We haven't always known that certain ecosystems really rely on fire to flourish. Uncontrolled wildfires are scary and dangerous. So for a long time, people would do everything they could to stop all fires, which is understandable. But we have come to realize after many years of fire exclusion that ecosystems like this one that need periodic fire become unhealthy. That looks like fire dependent species disappearing trees stressed by overcrowding, and flammable fuels like pine needles, leaf litter, and undergrowth building up and becoming hazardous. So how are these fires, these prescribed burns, helpful at maintaining a healthy and balanced ecosystem? By eliminating excess vegetation, prescribed burns eliminate the fuel necessary for wildfires to burn. That means if there's not enough brush, leaf litter, or grass on the ground for a fire to feed on, it won't grow as big or as hot, making it less likely for the flames to reach the canopy of more established trees or spread out of control. In fact, areas like this that have undergone a prescribed burn can serve as a slowing down point to allow local firefighters to contain wildfires. Fire clears out invasive species that have taken over the ecosystem. Invasive species are non-native organisms that do so well in their new area that they begin to outcompete the native species drastically reducing their number or driving them out completely. Living organisms in an ecosystem are so interconnected that losing one species could negatively impact all the other species in that area. Fire encourages the growth of diverse plant species by clearing out invasive species and opening up space for native plants to thrive. Many species depend on the plant communities that fire helps to regenerate, providing resources like food, and shelter essential for their survival. This includes birds, insects, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals. Grasses are well adapted to grow back after a fire. This is thanks to both an incredibly deep root system and a growing point safely located underground. The above ground foliage is burned, but the rest is protected from fire, allowing grasses to grow back quickly. Longleaf pines rely on fire to thrive in their environment. Fire removes competing plants, providing perfect conditions for germination. As it grows, the young longleaf resembles a clump of grass. Then rapid growth brings the growing point above typical flame heights for the next year. Then, once mature, thick plates of bark protect the inner trunk from fire and flakes off as it burns to bring the fire back to the ground. Fire breaks down the chemical composition of organic matter. Nutrients are now immediately accessible 
instead of being gradually recycled via decomposition, which takes years or even decades. These nutrients, such as ammonium, help support the growth of native grasses, flowers, and can even help microbial communities of fungi living in the soil. The landscape immediately after the burn seems inhospitable. But under the ash, soil is teeming with life, seeds are waiting for that first rain, and wildlife will soon be back to explore. Remember, fire is a natural part of this landscape, but fire should always be left to the professionals. If you want to learn more science, you can check out this video next.